Hi, this is Thomas Hamburg. I'm an animal naturopath, and I'm back with some more dogs we can look at. That was switched to a raw food diet, and uh, saw some uh, amazing benefits. So let's start here with this one. So again, I'm doing this in one shot, not editing, and because uh, when I edit, I never finish. So. It's going to be a little, you know, I'm stumbling here and there with my reading. <laughs> I have all new respect for people that read from teleprompters. Holy cow, that's not so easy. So that's what I kind of want to feel I'm doing. All right, enough of that. So this is Titan. He's three years old. He's a Chihuahua mix. Uh, or they call him Chihuahua. A mint pin from Canada that started on a raw food diet. 1.3 years old. So Titan is a participant in a long living pets or feeding study, like they all are, that we will go through in this series. So this is from the owners. Titan had extremely bad allergies prior to switching to raw. He would break out in hives constantly and his skin was paper thin. It got to a point where almost half of his body didn't have hair and was covered in cuts. I tried going chemical free in the house, which I am, and switching to a high grade kibble. It helps, but it didn't fix the issue. So a friend suggested trying raw. Wow, that's an awesome friend. And it had been life saving. He now has almost all his hair back, and it's only been five months on raw. His teeth are perfect and his fur is so soft. He is far more energetic and simply happier puppy. So this is very, very common. These are the, like she said, uh, well, I, I think I'm saying it down here. It's the number one reason uh, dogs um, end up in, uh, at the veterinarians. They, they have allergies, or symptoms of allergies, I like to call it. Maybe I'll talk about that. It's been a couple of years since I put this up here, this first one. So it's all almost like I'm reading this all new. Cause I don't, I don't remember anything what I wrote here. So now I'm gonna read it to you. Okay, my comment. What a great story, and testimony to how powerful raw feeding is as a healing modality for disease. Nothing can restore the immune system better than raw food. Of course, that's my opinion. No drugs or medication can do this. Yet another example of let food be thy medicine. Oh, let let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. It's the quote. So, over and over again, we see these things uh, happening. And uh, and when you when you feed a diet uh, that uh, these animals are designed for. In this case, a dog, and same with cats, but uh, a dog are carnivores, and you feed that type of diet that um, their immune, uh, sorry, their digestive system meant for, the immune system um, benefit from there, and uh, the body will heal itself. You're going to see that a lot. All right, let's look at another one. Let's take. Uh, This is, uh, we'll scroll up here a little bit. This is, um, sorry, I'm just was looking at my settings here. Okay, it seems good. Okay, Molly is 14, a golden duel that started on a raw food diet 12 years old. Molly is participating in the long raven pets raw feeding study too. So, this is what the owner wrote Molly had urinary tract issues would lick her paws, yeasty ears, and after uh, yeasty ears, and after raw food, she acts so much younger and happier. No more eye goop, perfect ears, soft coat, run more, happy to eat, and loves life. I feel like it has made her feel younger, and I wish I switched her to raw a lot sooner. You know, I get that a lot when people, because the people are not aware of these differences. They're looking at their dog and he thinks it's perfect. Even when they know 
not displaying any type of health issues or anything, no no allergies, nothing. They think they have an absolute perfect uh, puppy and, and feeding kibble. So why would they switch? I totally get it. Why would you switch when your dog looks perfect? But some do. And they suddenly realize, wow, what I thought it was a perfect dog is, is totally different. Because they notice the fur changes. Some cases uh, it get thicker and shinier and those things. And and the muscle, more muscle mass. and So the dog changes quite a bit on the raw food diet. And they would never have known unless they switched. Alright. Let's go for uh, this cutie here. Okay, so this is Symbol. He's six years old. He's an American Staffordshire Terrier from Canada. And started on a raw food diet four and a half years old. A symbol is a participant in the long living pet three raw feeding study as as they all are. Okay, so this is what the owner wrote. I switched to raw as she had so many allergies. We will be on a high end kibble and then more breakouts. We stayed on a kibble that was high in omega three as she tore her ACL and went for surgery. Occasionally we would also wake up in the night, uh, she would wake up in the night to vomit. Since the transition, she has no bolts pa and patches and no middle of the night vomiting. So these are all great improvements again. You know, all they did was switching the diet and the dog responded by uh, healing itself. Well, as you see the body responded. Okay, so here's my comment to this. This is the number one reason people take their pets to the vet. Allergies. Uh, I lost count of how many eliminated these symptoms just by switching to a raw food diet. Preferably low in carbs. Going to a so-called high-end kibble makes no difference. In my, this is my opinion and from my observations. It is still the wrong food, cooked, denatured, lack proper enzymes and minerals, and filled with synthetic vitamins. So that's when they produce kibble, they 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 kill. They know they kill all the nutrients, and most of the, not all the nutrients, of course, but most many of them. So they will add that back to compensate for the, for for what they ruined. But that's in form of synthetic vitamins and. That is, in my opinion, not not the type of vitamins a carnivore is, um, <coughs> you know. Oh, sorry, I clicked away here. Are, are uh, made for? They they want the uh, nutrients from food and vitamins and then some everything for food. Not not as uh, synthetic uh, versions. So I think that's um, one of the big problems with with cable. It's it's the vitamins they add in, and we think they're good vitamins, but they're synthetic. All right, now get back to where we're here. Okay, we just where do I? Okay, a lack of proper enzyme and minerals filled with synthetic vitamins. Okay, you just pay more for the same thing. With no benefit to your pet, in my opinion. I speak based on the data from tracking more than five thousand dogs in my raw feeding study. You're not going to find a scientific study on this. Uh, there's no really science, or science has not <laughs> gone into a study of raw feeding yet. And uh, that's one of the reasons I'm doing what I'm doing. My, my study is an observational study. That's fine with me. I have documented enough cases with similar results that I don't need a scientific study to, you know, to prove that what raw food can do. I mean, I've seen this repeated so many times now that so. Um, you know, this is just fact to me. Alright, that were three dogs. I'll be back for more.